Hello, everyone. It's William here at Allegory Gallery and Andrew behind the camera. It's me. <laughs> so we're here to give you a small tour of our store, our physical location here at 220 West Main Street in Ligonier, Pennsylvania. Um, we have a sale going on right now. We have 20% off everything in the online store and everything here in the physical store. So we figured there are some things that are in here that aren't in the online store. So those of you who are far away, who haven't been able to come in and take advantage of the in-store sale, we wanted to give you a look of what we have in store um, before midnight tonight, because that's when the sale ends. So if you would like to purchase anything that you see in this video that isn't in the online store, you can just send us an email at info at allegorygallery.com before midnight tonight. And we will check those emails um, tomorrow, but just get them in before midnight because the sale ends then. And then we'll go ahead and pick the things from the store floor here for you and invoice you and ship them out. So no problem that way. So let's take a look at what we have here at Allegory Gallery. All right, let's start over in this corner, why don't we? And we have over here, we have tote bags by Andrew Thornton, who's behind the camera. Hello. From his Society6 page. So if you have not checked out his Society6 page, we can put the link up there. You can purchase these that way, or you can purchase them from us. Right now you'd get 20% off, which is a really good deal. And these are, but these are just a few of the many, there's the pride bird for pride. Um, just a few of the many designs that he has in the store. And then we have a few here also from Cynthia, from her Society6 page. Those look I good. Love. I know, they look really good. And then there's even more. Let me see. There's even more back here, too. If I can get them out here. Those are more wintry. And those so, are more fall. Fall, wintry. But you never know. Pick them up for all seasons. We also have a few down over here. And in the window, we also have the bangles, the Indonesian bangles um, from an Indonesian women's co-op. One size fits all on those. And we have them in all different colors. So if you like those, you can ask for a certain color if you'd like, and we can get those out to you. They range generally, I think, from 12 to about $20 or so. And then over here, we have our silk, our stitched edge silk collection. These are mostly in the online store. We have a lot of these colors in the online store, but if you see something here you like and want to pick out, you can send us a screenshot. That's the easiest way on things like this um, for our videos. Take a screenshot with your device during the video or replay the video and take a screenshot to see or to be able to send that in an email to us. It makes it a lot easier for us to pick them out and know what you're talking about. Or if you trust us, we'll pick for you. We can also pick for you. We have this felted scarf. This is really pretty. Pretty um, felted scarf from Nepal, I believe. Right? Yeah. From Nepal. I think that, is that the last that one? That is the last one of those that we have left. And then we have some of these beautiful scarves. No, they're from Rough and Tumble. From Rough and Tumble, our friends at Rough and Tumble Vintage. There's another one of those. This is a pretty pink one. Like a dusky rose. So we only have those two of those remaining as well. Wow. Now, you're going to see this little critter here. Flying frog. flying frog for good luck. These are Indonesian sculptures. They are hand painted and hand carved in Indonesia. And they range from about $12 to about $24 or so. I think the largest might be 48 But most of them are about... 15 to 18 dollars and if you look up we have them covering the ceiling sorry could you say that again siri thinks i'm talking to her <laughs> what's big boy look at this big boy property no don't drop it on my head so it'll get come, come, it's come down that's a heavy one too i think that might be one of the the more expensive ones i can't see so we've got a couple people tuning in. That's good. Who's Teresa's there, watching. Teresa. Thank you Donna's me. watching. Terry's watching. Other Teresa's watching. Good. 
Good. Thank you all for being here with us. Um, like I said at the beginning, you may have missed if you're just tuning in, we're doing this um, look around the store so that you can see what we have in the physical store that may not be in the online store. If you want to request something from the physical store to save 20% before midnight Eastern time tonight, you can send those emails to us at info at allegorygallery.com and request anything you want from the physical store and you'll get 20% off. We're doing a 20% off sale in the online store and in the physical store. Now, there are some exclusions, which are? The AG Fine Pewter line. That's the exclusion. Um, we, we price those as low as we possibly can um, for everyone all the time. So taking another 20% off that is really hard to do. Um, so that's really the only exclusion that we've had um, with that. Isn't there something else? Um, it was your cloak crow collaborative paintings but i took those off the online store oh okay yeah because there wasn't it's very difficult to just accept one thing from it so one thing in a whole collection so over here we have czech glass mostly czech glass we have a little bit of german glass um vintage german um vintage czech glass so most of this over here in the forefront is contemporary Czech glass. And then in the background, we have vintage Czech glass. Many of these items have gone into the online store, so you can find those there. And we have these cute little paw prints. How about that? $1.25 each, little paw prints in all different colors. And Andrew's just gonna scroll along to show you the Czech glass here. I love these little these little, what's that mean in sign language? I forget. Does that? Um, but glass that's hands. That's an E shape, isn't it? Check glass hands. I don't know. I don't know what that means. The Hamsas, if you can see or not. Is that a figure? Then we have some of Andrew's artwork back here also on sale right now i'm surprised that one with a seashell is still left this one that's probably one of my favorites this one she does look a little bit creepy so maybe that's why i like this one i like all of those actually and most of these are all in the online store as well but if you see something here while you're picking other things out these are vintage Czech glass. If you've seen any of our videos showing vintage Czech glass, we've shown these before. We have a couple new people watching. Oh. Anne's watching. Suzanne's watching. Susan's watching. Oh, Suzanne made it. That's good. She sent an email earlier. Amanda. I think that was Suzanne said she might not be able to make it tonight. So scrolling along we have more this whole thing's pretty much full of check glass until you get down to the very bottom and even the very bottom has a lot of check Ooh, glass in it. i love these little owls i know the owls and the turtles no they're nice i love those colors mm -hmm. do those ones fluoresce i don't know the yellow ones i don't know and then we got the turtles too those are some that we imported ourselves yeah we, they weren't in the country when we imported them. These, do, Those are let antique. me get the, let me get the black lights. These are like pony beads, but glass. They do it a little bit. Just a little. Those don't. Those don't. But. Where are they? These. These ones do. And they kind of look, when there's not a light, it's kind of a bluish uh, tortoise. Yeah, green or blue tortoise color. Very and pale. And then boom, boom, they flash. Those are antique. I love these melon beads. I don't know why. I know. These are those. Only have a few strands, but so juicy that pink and that green, pink green watermelon kind of color, watermelon sugar. Watermelon sugar. I ah. think that means sex. <laughs> Is that what that means? I think I read that on the internet. For us old folk who don't know, 
I was like, I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. They, everybody's singing about watermelons. <laughs> the Harry Styles. These should do it too. There. And yeah, those are fun. And these stars, I can't believe these stars are still wet. I know. We imported those too. I don't know. So if you see anything you like, take a screenshot, send it to us in an email, info at allegorygallery.com. We'll pick it from the store floor tomorrow for you and invoice you. These ones, the cactus blossom, didn't you all break those up so they're a little bit more affordable? I think so. I think that's why they're in bags. I love these colors. It's dark in here now with the, the sun going down. All right. Who else is watching? We've got about 15 people watching. Nice. Thank you all for watching. Here's this beautiful garnet necklace. We need to replace that light. That's I know. why it's dark. Well, anymore. this one is gone. Can't replace it. This one just needs to be replaced. $759. 20% off now if you want a lot of garnets. Beautiful, beautiful garnets. You get the 20% off right now on that. I think that's one of our most expensive ones in the store right now. Terry says, I wasn't sure what I can't feel my face when I'm with you meant when then a young coworker enlightened me. What does it mean? I thought it was when you drink too much and then you can't feel your face, but like you're drunk in love. No, I think that that means you just drink too much and then you can't feel your face. So my face when I'm with you. Wow. Or is they like going downtown? Uh, uh, that's uh, not part of this broadcast. It is now. <laughs> this is beautiful. These boulder opal with sterling around it. That's a big end. That is a big end. Look at that beautiful shine in that. $104. 20% off right now. Now's your chance to get it 20% off. Terry says it's about cocaine. Oh, I don't know about that. That's a rich people drug. <laughs> we don't know about that drug. That's for rich people. These beautiful pendants. This one is $65. 20% off right now. Till midnight tonight, Eastern time. Nice. Let's nice. see what else. What else is in there? There's some check glass flowers. Check glass flowers. We got a lot of those. We'll show there's you over a, there. There's a Diane hockey bead. I know. Can you believe it? A pendant. I don't know how we still have that. Fifteen dollars only. Usually Diane hockey stuff sells out almost immediately. Yeah. We have some in the online store. We have one here. Another one here. Where is this the one? Is fifteen dollars? This is a cab. A cab. Mm -hmm. Maybe why it's still here probably just set it we have these um oil burners these are really cute no, put a tea ceramic. candle put a tea candle in there put your oil on top these are only nine dollars holy guacamole i know look at the i love these earrings i don't know how we still have these but those are from when i was working at the store mm -hmm. those are from sarah sally legrand who is from missouri kansas city missouri and is a lamp worker Handmade glass flower. She earrings. she used to be the president of the ISG International Society of Glass. I something ISG something. Glass makers glass. Forget what it is. Maybe B bead makers. I can't remember. They are from. Those are from our friend uh, Melanie Brooks at Earthenwood mm -hmm. Studio. She doesn't really do ceramic anymore, so these are probably the last of those that you'll ever be able to get. Look at that Larimar bracelet. I oh, know. Holy cow, that's a big one. It's a nice strand. Beautiful. If you don't want to use it as a bracelet, break it up, make it your own. It's on stretchy. All right. Who else is watching? Say hello. We also have these carved items like the masks and the statues. 
Looks like we sold one or two up there recently. Oh, good. And we also have things like needles, crochet hooks, and the like, if you need that. There's Nymo in different colors and Salamide. There is Silk Thread. Those are not online. Nope. Those are probably vintage at this point. <laughs> probably. Even French wire if you need something to finish off your pieces. We also have leather cord if you need leather cord this is was that two millimeter the two millimeter mm -hmm. all different colors i don't think we put these in the online store we have beautiful colors in the leather cord you have those and then there's the smaller diameter mm -hmm. A few different diameters. Not as many colors in those. We have to restock soon on those. And we have some necklaces from Kelly Russell. I'm not going to focus on those because um, we have to split the money on those. So. Yeah, those are on sale. Those are one of the exclusions in store. We have these little totems. They're cool. We have a lot of these carved in Indonesia. We have these birds. Some people were looking at these earlier. These are only $10. I think they're really cool. We have, oh, ooh. getting wild. Getting wild, dancing ladies falling down. We have dancing ladies. I'm tired of those. Let's move on. Let's move on. <laughs> we have masks. We have incense or flower holders like these little, this little cute little frog that sits on the edge of your desk. What keep going? Let's open this case. Let's open this case. All right. So here's one of my pearl necklaces that I made. That was in a book. There are some lapis earrings in there. There's another Diane Hockey piece with some some crystal that little vessel is from our friend keisha koi if you forgot your father's day present for your fishing father there's a bottle opener and that fun these are solid too if you need a self-defense weapon oh, there you go 11 25. you can knock them in the head bone $15 only, Diane Hockey. Renee says that the necklace is beautiful. Thanks. I tried hard. Here's another pearl necklace that I made. And in the back, there's a piece by Cynthia. That was part of the 3x3 three three show that we had. And there's a little uh, composite uh, vessel. It's all Roman glass. It's kind of, kind of been glued together to make a little uh, vessel, which is pretty fun. I don't know if I'd want to drink anything out of it, but it's <laughs> no. certainly fun for decoration. Then we've got the this another pearl necklace. Can you sense that there's a trend? <laughs> and then these are Roman glass, which are pretty cool. Now these are the ones that are the oval kind of uh, flat pieces that are drilled twice. Mm -hmm. And then we've also got these, which are like longer tube shapes. And those are in the online store. So if you're looking for those, you can we just don't get have them many left, online. Actually. Yep. Once mm -hmm. they're gone, that's probably, that's the last of them. These are hiding down below. These are fun. Those are on the online store as well. AB Vintage Plastic. All right, what's where do you next? want to go? You want to go this way or you want to go that way? Um, let's go this way. Okay. So here are those bracelets a little bit closer in case you needed a closer look. I love these bracelets. I wear one, I just slide it on. Mm -hmm. They just, you just roll them right on. Like they have pretty big hands and they just roll right on. 
No problem. So you don't, they're not stretchy. No. But there is a little bit of give, but that's because it's crochet. And we have pretty much any color. So if you need them for representing a particular cause, I know that some people like to wear the pink ones that we have for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Or school colors. Yeah, if you're or trying sports to low-key represent your sports team. You've got some gold and black if you're into the Steelers or the Penguins. Of course, I have to represent Southwestern Pennsylvania, yo. <laughs> if you're into fossils, we have these really cool white fern fossils. These are from, I believe these are also from Pennsylvania. These are Pennsylvania, yep. Those are pretty cool. Kids love those, especially. I love them, and I guess I'm a kid at heart. So we've got a couple people. Some more people watching. Yeah, Facebook user says, OMG, those pearl necklaces are stunning. And they're 20% off right now. Facebook user also says, ooh, I've got some of those. Fun. Teresa says, how much are the bracelets? They depend, but the bracelets are... Most are $12. So this is $12. These are $12. Some of the more expensive beads, uh, because of the finish or if they have a bail yeah, these, attached. These go from about $15 up to $20. Yeah, so if there's a pattern, it costs a little bit more. So if there's a specific color you want to see, let us know and I can zoom in. And some have these, as he was saying, these little bells attached so that you can add a charm, a charm if you were charms. Yep. And then we've got Renee says, Andrew, your pieces really need to be showcased for more exposure. Well, go find me a gallery and <laughs> I'll do it. Yeah, they were already in a book, right? Um, I mean, we, I, I don't know what to do. They're on TV, they're in books, <laughs> they're in galleries. Um, Donna says, sorry, I was the wrong one. I don't know what that means. Was on the wrong one. I don't know what that means. Oh, no. Here we have another bottle opener with the gold leaf. I love the hands. Modeled after Saint Statue hands. Santos. Santos. We have those. We have these beautiful little plates. And those are by Michelle McKenzie, right? Mm -hmm. And we have these. These are beautiful. These are little um, candle holders. And they have, they glow through this beautiful kind of coppery base. And it's a pierced copper base. Now that's a flower of life pattern mm -hmm. on there. So if you, if you have any yoga friends, or if you are a yoga friend, there you go. We have these selenite candle holders. They hold the little tea candles. Now that's not a real tea candle, but they work with real mm -hmm. candles too. So if you're afraid of your house getting burned down, you can use the battery operated one yep. and nobody has to know. And these glow so nice when they're burning. I met the um, people who mine selenite and they say that they wash it in the river, the Arroyo Grande something, and um, the water actually will carve it. It's such a soft stone that it will carve away some of the selenite. Letter openers. Or if you need to sharpen it. Weapons. I know. We also this have these little, little boxes here. Those are charming. Mm -hmm. If you have a special gift of something that you want to put in there, I think that would be super nice. And these ones, this is like if you have a ring, if you're or a bracelet. Um, I used to keep one of these uh, next to the uh, sink and I would put my jewelry on so that whenever I did the dishes or something, they wouldn't like fall off and go down the mountain. Yeah, and these are nice and weighted, so you're not gonna just knock it aside very easily. So those are really cool. Mm -hmm. Now there's these earrings. I love these gemstone earrings, probably one of our 
number one most popular design. Definitely are. Um, and show it, angle them so they can actually see them. So that's a moonstone. So it's got a nice shimmer. It's got a satiny shimmer to them. That's another of the peach, peachy moonstone. These and ones. Another. Another, but in a rectangular. Now, those ones are all faceted, so they have a little bit of uh, shine to them. Now, these ones are amethyst, so if you want something for your favorite Aquarius, there you go. We've got these carnelian ones, and those ones are really lovely. They have a nice glow to them. And these ones are in lapis. These are really pretty. And they have a gunmetal ear wire, so that's nice. Um, and this one's pyrite coming up. Now let me back up a little bit so you can actually see it. There you go. Aren't those pretty? I just love those. These are one of my favorite ones. I'm surprised they're because I show them to everybody. Um, I got Donna saying, yes, your pearl necklaces are gorgeous. Thank you. Uh, Teresa says, love the candle holders. Yeah, I love them too. Terry says, selenite is good for charging crystals. And Teresa says, I have one of those near my sink too. That way your stuff doesn't get lost. Now these are some earrings that I made and those are, what are those? Tourmaline. Tourmaline. And I made them in a gradation of colors from light to dark. Now, if you're interested in anything, uh, just let us know and we can go back and show you closer in detail. Um, and we can do that. These are pretty too. Are those Amazonite? Cindy asks, is everything available to purchase online? Okay, here, I'll let you do the show. Okay, so the reason we're doing this store tour is because most of the things in store are not available online. So we're giving you the store tour so you can take a screenshot, send us an email at info at allegorygallery.com, and we will go ahead and pull those items for you and invoice you and ship them to you. So you can check the online store. Some of these cross over. The jewelry generally does not. Um, a lot of it does not. So that's why we wanted to give you a store tour before midnight tonight because the sale ends at midnight tonight and you can still get 20% off all of these items in store as well as the online store. So there. <laughs> all right. So we've got these more check glass. Lots and lots of check glass. Here, show the B ones. The Bs. I love the bees. They've got a gold luster to them, mm -hmm. so it brings mm -hmm. out the design. We've got them in this really lovely turquoise color, in this kind of chalk color, in this kind of soda light color with a gold. Um, this is kind of a transparent, but it's got the gold, and the gold kind of hides in the recesses and the texture on them. So it that transparent kind of glows almost. These are only $8 for a whole strand and they're 20% off. Now are those on the online store? I, these are not. No. So there are things that are exclusive to, to both. This, right. So what about those cats? These those cats. Are, I love those cats. These actual two-sided cats. Double-sided cats. How much are those? Those are $13.50 plus 20% off. So I those like are a white too. with gold. And this is kind those. of a, a, it's almost how they make the, uh, those, um, those were, uh, chevron beads where they have different, uh, bits of color. And then when they cut away the other parts, it reveals that kind of pattern underneath. Those are beautiful. And then we got one strand left. I can't believe it of the cat playing with the ball. No, that's an antique mold, but they brought it back. These it, were big sellers for us. I can't believe we still have one. And then we have the anchors. People love the anchors. If you're doing nautical things or things by the sea, if you live by the sea or any type of thing like that. Yeah, another symbol for like, is it sobriety? I don't know. I can't remember. And these fun floral, they're dahlias. I was like, how do you know they're dahlias? <laughs> and they're like, well, we made them. We so made them. We know what they are. So here's these tree of live. 
So it would be tree of lives. Trees of life. Trees of life. Life giver trees. Life of trees. Now there are these rose ones. I love these rose ones. Yeah. Do you know any people who like goth stuff? I bet if you made them appearing a dark, pair of earrings of those, dark, they'd dark roses. lose their mind. Know, and right? you'd be their favorite goth mommy. <laughs> oh <laughs> my. Pears. Those ones. Pears? They've got, uh, they're a matte finish, but then they've been sp sprinkled with gold luster. So they look like they're jellies and they're so delightful. I cannot believe that we still have these. <laughs> I know. Um, probably because they're for in store only. Yeah. And uh, folk traffic's been slow. slow. So if you like those, I like those. We special uh, ordered those from the Czech Republic. Um, and we got those. We ordered them before the pandemic started. And now they're. Uh, they got to us, I think it was like nine months after the pandemic. Oh, so, pairs too, which are purple, those are lovely. They do look dark, almost like black, these. but purple ones. So, there are those. We got melons, lots of melons in here, all different kinds. These are fun, these are very popular. Lots and lots and lots of the melons. Teresa These. asked, how much were the lapis earrings? Lapis earrings are back here. These are 38 and they'd be 20% off $38. Okay, so 38. Okay. There's one of my necklaces up there. That's all uh, amber. So it's like choker style. Unless you're a child, <laughs> then it's not. That's sixty-five dollars. That's a lot of amber for sixty. That's an old price. I know. Just cut it out. <laughs> I'm not afraid. He says I'm not afraid to do it. <laughs> Here's some more. Another pearl necklace that I made. That beautiful tassel in there. And that's a uh, my uh, dingle dangle pendants. I All love different kinds of pearls. Yes. That's another one of my designs that I made that has all kinds of different things on it. It's got moonstone, snakeskin agate, aquamarine, lampwork glass by Joanne Zakowski, labradorite, um, some freshwater pearls. I believe there's um, some sapphires on that. I like to call those my treasure necklaces, and they have a little bit of everything on them. And this one is two thirty-eight. They don't care. Two thirty-eight. They don't care. <laughs> they like your work. Maybe. So this work. one, get that out the way. <laughs> Here we go. This is not what Andrew did, so he'll show it to you. Uh huh. Let's take a look at that beauty. What do you think these are, everyone? Look into my soul and see happiness. All ruby and sapphire. There is a name called happiness, and it is this. Let me tell you, I am smitten kitten with this flavor combination. And this is $615. It's not a cheap date, but you... But this is the this rare is... time this is 20 percent We don't give discounts in the store. Like, we do a lot of online sales, but we do not have sales on in-store items very often. No. Because we have things like this that really we price so low anyway. So $615 less 20%. Really, that should be $1,200. Yes. Real, realistically, uh, going market value rate. But we got such a good deal. Cynthia was kind enough to take us around uh, Tucson and got that for us. There's another one of my faceted, uh, I call them Karen earrings, not K-A-R-E-N Karen, but C-A-I-R-N Karen, like the stacked stones. Green onyx. Donna says, wow. Teresa says, that is beautiful. Andrew. Don says, oh my, wow. Amanda says, gorgeous, Andrew. You made that? Don't sound so surprised. <laughs> Teresa says, beautiful necklace, Andrew. Thank you. 
so these are more of the gemstone earrings. They're bezel set earring. Um, now, if you're interested a little in a little bit of whimsy, we have a couple of these root baby pieces. These ones were ones from Cynthia's show, Realms of the Forest Floor. And we have just a few of these left. That one over there and this one here. And that one probably is my favorite. Yeah, I know. The little dancy girl. And these are $64. Again, old price. Very old price. That's probably like 10 years old price. Now these are wooden earrings. Those are fun. And we've got some enameled earrings up here. Uh, the enamel components come from C-Coop. So Sarah from Duluth, Minnesota. She has a workshop um, in her chicken coop, which is really fancy. So <laughs> um, here's one, another one of my necklaces. This is another one of my treasure necklaces. It's a more, it's a larger, more in charge necklace. It's not for the dainty flower folk. Um, this has bone, it has African glass, it has copal amber, it has some African trade beads that are, uh, uh, I think they're antique, those melons. Um, it's got a bronze toggle. And we've got all kinds of, there's wood on there. There's those Dogon um, African glass beads um, or the Hebron, Hebron. And those are uh, some of those, those little yellow discs um, are called African gold. And those at one point were more valuable than gold. Not anymore, <laughs> but at one point they were more valuable than gold. So pretty cool. 165. I think that's pretty affordable. Yeah. All right. So there's more Czech glass here. Oh, show these. Are those the friendship glasses? Or are those the mineral yeah. ones? These are the friendship glasses. Read it, William. En verre de mitié. A glass for friends or glass between friends. These are nine fifty each. We have a set of four of them at least. One set of four available. That's a sweet thought. Wouldn't that be cool uh, to fill that up with beads and then send that to a friend? I bet you would be best friends for life. Best friends for life. We have these. People love these. These little glass containers. Ten dollars only. Yeah, that's affordable. Right. It's got that kind of chinoisee kind of mm -hmm. China uh, pattern. I don't know what it says. It probably says like junk drawer. No. <laughs> Salt cellars. Oh, those are fun. I love those. These are only eighteen seventy five. It says salt in case you get confused with the sugar. <laughs> right. I watched a baking show that said had that happen. If only they had this cellar. Um, Donna says those trinket boxes are stunning. Thanks. More check glass. Here, get them big ends in the back. Yes. Mamba Jamba big ends. I don't know if we put these in the online store. There might be one strand of these in the online store. I can't remember. $24. That's, that's some big check glass. Right? Mm -hmm. That's the biggest check glass I think I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. So we have those. These are fun. Yeah. Now those have a matte finish to them and kind of are antiqued. They're faceted, but they have the matte kind of finish. They almost look rusty. Like, mm -hmm. or, you know yeah rusty like i love it i love it you don't see that very often i like these a lot these little disco balls they remind me of those planets mm -hmm. like the globes those are 24 as well these are fun are people liking this or do can i go home <laughs> Does I just anybody... kind of feel like people don't like this. Oh, they're well, not into they're it. Not into it. We can stop. I was like, I can go watch a movie. <laughs> 
Now, if you like check glass leaves, here you go. Welcome to the motherland. We got them in all these different finishes and colors. And I think these might be in the online store too. We put some of those in there. Anne says she like at least one person likes it. One person. Here's some more check glass. Do you know any Scorpios? I don't know why those are still here. Those are another one that we imported. And maybe that's why they no, they aren't sold here in the U.S. No one wanted them. <laughs> I don't like, know. I think uh, they're cool. They're scorpions. If you know any Scorpios, these Star of Ishtar ones are really... These were really popular when they first came in. Or what about uh, that Penny Dreadful? Anybody like Penny Dreadful? I do. I like some of Penny Dreadful. I guess. It got wild. Skulls in yellow. Yellow skulls. A B finish on one side. If you're getting ready for the holidays, here you go. If you want to be different, stand out from the crowd. There you go. Okay. All right, there are some more skulls. Here are some little Buddha heads, stylized Buddha heads. I love these ones. There's A B finish on a transparent. Now there's two different kinds he's got. He's got a silver luster one and a gold luster, and those are really fun. So if you're making any making any mala necklaces or mala bracelets, those might be fun to include. Mm -hmm. um, I love these swallow beads. Swallow beads. Now don't swallow like you're gonna drink. <laughs> swallow like the bird. Yeah, these are twenty six fifty a strand. They're not a cheap day, but, you know... These are the ones we talked it. about we broke up for some of the kits. Yeah, those ones look like it's like um, a sunset. Yeah, and then we have the... Oh, I love the opalescent purple. Mm -hmm. There's actually two different purples in here. It's so juicy. Well, there's a gold luster on them, too. Yeah, this thing is the only strand like that. There's a darker purple. Yeah, beautiful. And then Donna green. says that she loves it. Teresa says she likes it. All right. I guess we can keep going for those three people only. <laughs> All right. These ones are purple, but they're uh, a little bit more like shampoo-y. Yeah, they are. All right. So we've got a lot of check glass, apparently. <laughs> And there's more trays. Yeah, these are all these are all online, I think. Oh, these might not be. All right. So here are these kind of elongated bicones. Those are super great for earrings, or if you want to make up a quick bracelet, they come in all these different colors and finishes. Um, what else we got in there? Those red and green ones are kind of unusual. They kind of look brown, but um, those are fun. If you're like really getting ready for Christmas, right? Those ones, go skip those. I don't, I'm not. I interested. like those. Those show the back skip ones. Those. That's all the same. They're all in the online store. Now these ones are those um, Lucerne bicones, which are those four face bicones. And we have, I bought all the colors they had. <laughs> so if you need colors in these Lucerne Bicones, here you go. They're in the online store. You can get them there. And They're easier to get than probably sending screenshots. But yes. if you want to send screenshots, you can circle on the screenshot and let us know what color exactly. Now, those are $2, $2 each. a strand. $2 for a freaking strand. I can't believe it. I know. That's insane. Well, I know we used to sell them for more. It used but, to be at least three dollars. I oh, got a good deal. Andrew got so. a good deal, so so do you all, especially with a twenty percent sale. I probably can't get that away. Get get him. He again. won't. He won't. No, because the guy's closed. So. Gone. All right, we'll go over here. Who wants to see Jumpson? No, they don't want to see Jumpson. Okay, where do you want to go next then? And I guess we'll show. Up, since I'm standing here already. These are the faux Z beads. Um, they are an acid etched um, agate, and then we've got some obsidian in there. There's some black tourmaline, 
all kinds of goodies, all kinds of goodies. Mm -hmm. And here we've got some skull love. So if you're getting ready for Halloween, here you go, y'all. Get them oh. while you can. Get them while they're on sale. These are these hematite plated hematite skulls. I love how the colors on those. Mm -hmm. I, I love it. Look how bright. They look like silver. Yeah, they do. They look like they're metal. Mm -hmm. Now, hematite does have a high metal. content of iron. Now, these ones, they're plated with this almost pastel AB finish. So they almost look like Easter candy in a way. <laughs> Or like some fancy wrapping like paper. These net ones too. Like a pewter. Mm -hmm. Anybody need some creepy haunted house earrings? Here you go. Yeah. Stranger Things. Nobody watches that, do they? All right. Here's some coral. We probably won't be getting any more coral unless it's vintage. Mm -hmm. So we don't destroy the universe. Right. Um, we've got some cappuccino jasper. There's some picture jasper. Um, some uh, red creek jasper. Some, what is that? Wonderstone. Wonderstone, which is a type of jasper. An expensive type of jasper. Um, somebody says, how up the obsidian? There's a whole tray of obsidian, so... What? Um, is that tourmaline chips? That, those coins are obsidian, I can see. This tell. is onyx. These coins? Mm-hmm. These are black agate. Black agate. Mm -hmm. They look like volcanic glass. They might be. I don't know if there's an obsidian. Well, I like to y'all them. <laughs> this is that one cool. looked like um, paper this scene. That one nobody likes that stone. I don't know why. It looks like um star ruby to me. Yeah. You know how it has that chatoyance? Galaxite or hypersthesine. It's the smallest for obsidian. We don't, I don't know if that's obsidian. These are black onyx. Those are black onyx. And these are sardonyx. And that's sardonyx. And this one is, I think, black onyx too. Yep, black onyx. Black Oops. onyx and sardonyx. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, Donna says, how much are the uh, fake Z beads? Those are $16. Boy, that's cheap. Uh, I know, those are pre-pandemic pricing. Yeah, I bought a strand at 24, so. <laughs> Beautiful um, old stock turquoise. All old stock turquoise. I love those. I know, those, those chunky monkeys here. Species. This is a good time to get these if you want them. These are 175 a strand. Regular. 20% off and pre-pandemic pricing. Look at that. Beautiful. And there's a green one, and there's this more blue. blue one. I love the blue one myself, but I like the green one. Hold it not so fast. I'm trying to get them coiled. I know. Here you go. There you are. Good time to get these with 20% off. 20% off does not happen in the physical store, but like maybe once every two years, three years. Yes. I know. We don't usually do sales like this either. No. no. So usually we just show people the store and then that's it. Just to give you a look. All right. That's boring. Keep moving. Ooh, that's nice. This isn't boring? No. This is Roman glass. Chunky Roman glass. Those are my favorites. So glass from the Romans. In the Roman times. They call that Silk Road Glass. So we have a few strands of this chunky stuff. These are $40 a strand only, which is incredibly good. Especially for the bigger ones. Usually mm -hmm. you get like the small ones for like 40. Yep. All right, you can skip the Unicite. Here's some more ZD. Now these ones have like a cornelian base to them. We have a flower etching. 
and they're 16 only. And like I said, those are fake. Because yeah. as long as you know they're fake, because there's real ones that are like $100 per bead. Um, those are some uh, frosted carnelian. Mm -hmm. This is red adventure. Yeah, it's kind of in a graduation of color. So you have that light, darker, lighter, lighter. And they're in those triangles. I think it's so cool that they're in that shape. Um, and they're super affordable, only $8 a strand. I can't believe that I we know. have those. Those are an older looking tag. So we must yeah, have had are, those. We've had these for a while. So we would not get those eight dollars now. People hate them. Throw them in the garden. We got like two hanks of them, I think. Beautiful crystal. I like the crystal. I think these are in the online store as well. We have some of these all in the online store. These are the three millimeter and four millimeter faceted actual stone gemstones. Oh, I like that tourmaline. That one, of course. I know who else would like that, Sistra. Oh, she would like also that um, fluorite, I can tell. They don't, oh, this one. Uh -huh. Yeah, these are the cube. I don't know if any more of these are online. These are the cubes. There are a few cubes in here. And then those um, moon snow next to it. No, no, no. The natural, throw that away. Throw that away. The, the ones next to the fluorite. Oh, these. The peach ones. The natural. Those are delightful. Actual rainbow moons. 40 bucks, yo. I know. There these ones are larger. He's going to show that. That's that. Morganite. Morganite. I love Morganite. I know he likes it. It's like a pastel festival. I do like the pastel. Garnets. Garnets. Eighteen dollars for the garnets. Those are cheap for the graduated. Graduated. Browns now these are rounds. these what do you call hessonite? These are not hessonite. They're close. They're on the borderline. But they're kind of that ox blood red. Mm -hmm. And these are garnets, but they're of that more purpley rhodonite garnet kind of, not rhodochrosite, but rhodonite garnet. So some more purpley color. If we had just a regular light, they would glow like a almost like a berry. Um, there we also have some uh, rose quartz in there. Um, it looks just like regular quartz, but it's actually rose quartz. And then up here, we've got some of that eagle eye, some of that coated labradorite, some faceted labradorite, some round labradorite, some large hole labradorite, and some uh, uh, terminated uh, quartz. Show how big the holes are in that big one. That is. Those are a good two, three millimeter hole. If you need that in your life, I know sometimes large full stones are hard to find, so that's why I like it. There's some blue lace agate on top, some tourmaline. I love the tourmaline. Sapphires. Um, sapphires. Boy, that tray is a fancy tray. <laughs> um, we've got some amethyst over here. If you like amethyst. There's some shell, blister pearls. Yeah, those blister pearls, shell, dyed shell. Some pink opal in here. All different kinds of pink opal. Um, let's see what else we've got. These are all in the online store. Those are all available on allegorygallery.com. These are the corner grill squares. So if you like tiger's eye, here you go. Tiger's eye. Red tiger eye. We have regular tiger eye. 
These are beautiful, the fluorite and the carnelian. And opalite, everybody loves opalite. I don't know if everybody does. I like it. I don't know. Everyone at the at the thing we went to was picking up the opalite, the touch, the touchstone, touchstone, touchstone. Sodalite, jasper, howlite, goldstone, electroplated quartz, which are fun. The Botswana agate. Here's some crystal stones. Now, are these, these are ones are ones that are in the online store, right? Which one? These are. Okay. Yeah. And these are. All right. What else we got? Turquoise. Old stock turquoise. Look at these brands of turquoise. Yummy, yummy wow. strands of turquoise. Old stock turquoise, everyone. You can tell it's old stock, too. You can actually, you can almost like, see it. Yeah, look, it's almost like, look at the color and the little metal in there. It looks like metal, pyrite. pyrite. Love that. The matrix. These deep, deep blue. Now those ones, if I'm not mistaken, are Sleeping Beauty. They are, and they're they should be a lot more than forty dollars. Oh boy, they probably were augmented. That's why the. All right, so you've got this purple kind of chalcedony. Chalcedony is here. This is um, lavender chalcedony. I love it. It's kind of like holly blue agate. Look at that. Beautiful color on those. Beautiful color. Suzanne says, I love the sound stones make. There's a morganite again. Here's some aquamarine. Which is related aquamarine related to the Morganite. It's a barrel family. The Amazonite. Amazonite. The Amazonite smooth rondelles. Oh boy. Those look like little corn kernels. I know. But blue. Only $24 a stand with 20% off on top of that. That's a good deal. That's a really good I'm deal. I'm interested in this flavor, to be honest. The lavender chalcedony. I would go for that. They're 35 a strand. This stuff, just skip it. <laughs> and there is I no mean, love for this. This is like brown jasper. There's like no love for that. That's why it's on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, here's a necklace I made. Uh, this is opal, different boulder opal. And then little opal rondelles in there. It's shorter, so I think that's probably why it hasn't moved. Yeah. It's 178 if you're interested. Look at that. That's basically how much the stones cost nowadays. <laughs> not even. It's not even got a stringing fee. Here's another old one that I made. I love this one. With some Bali um, Hill Tribe silver with some um, coral and... Uh, Bo Ebony and Spiny Oyster. Spiny Oyster. 185. But people probably want to make their own stuff. They don't want to see my. They want to see your stuff. Yeah, they're like, oh, I can make that. But most of the stuff I make, I hoard this stuff for years. So uh, the chances of you finding it are slim to none. <laughs> Cause, and then I don't share. Mm -mm. He doesn't share. Wendy says, love that coral and silver necklace. Thank you. All right. So this, we basically just entered the store. <laughs> now we here. We up the pace a little bit. We're going to be all night. We're, oh, wow. Well. What do you got to do? Or Take my headache pills. I know we, we have I have a little bit of a headache Me too. too. We went um, into the, we went for a wike. A white, a, <laughs> a hike, and a walk hike. Um, it was up higher, um, and so my ears have not popped yet. Yeah, and I'm dehydrated. Um, here are some of my Actually, paintings. I'll be right back. Talk about your paintings. Here they are. <laughs> um, these will probably go down fairly soon. We're working on new programming for the project wall. 
we took a break uh, for the pandemic um, to uh, showing work because we didn't really want to bring in new work and then not have anybody come through and see it. So the project wall has been kind of on hiatus for a while. So my artwork has been up, which has been kind of nice because it's kind of forced me to paint more. Um, and I've done a couple different series. Uh, the winter themed ones, like the Sugar Plum Fairy and uh, the, um, the Yule Cat and uh, some of the other, like that, the winter uh, crone. Those were all for my kind of rediscovery of my Christmas spirit um, or holiday spirit. I kind of was, you know, I don't know, when you work retail, the holidays kind of get old sometimes, uh, at least for me. So I went back to the source material from where a lot of the different um, folklores and mythologies from around the world. And I love how wonderfully morbid they are. Um, and so that's kind of sparked that. So I did a whole series of different um, winter celebration themed uh, paintings. Uh, and then uh, maybe last year, the year before, I did a whole series of mermaids from Mermaid. And those also come from different things from all over the world. Um, I did some landscapes, which I'm not really a landscape painter, but I was really in the mood to kind of capture those. Um, we were stuck in lockdown. And so lockdown was when I was kind of fantasizing about traveling. Um, you know, you, you start thinking about all the things you can't do when you can't do them. So I thought about traveling and seeing different places. And so I made the series of landscapes. And then I did a whole series of these bird girls called the Opal Girls. Um, and I don't even think we sold one of them. Maybe we sold one. We sold one or two. But anyways, I have this, I made the, I wrote this little short story about this lady who carves these little creatures and they come to life. Um, and so I thought people would like them more, but they might be creeped out by them. Oh, well. I think everything has kind of a time and a place. Some and of these are in the online store and some of them are not. Okay. So they are available at the, the weekend sale discount code. It's weekend sale to save 20%. But if you don't see it, you can also save 20% in store. And so that she bought an Opal Girl and that she loves it and she loves the story too. Well, thank you. Like this one, I was so pleased when I made that painting. And then it's... Oh, you know who wants that one? Who? Beverly next door. Oh, she said, if my husband comes in asking, what can you get me for a gift? It's that one. Oh, nice. <laughs> well, beat Beverly out then. If you've been <laughs> eyeing it up. So we have lots of rocks and minerals and specimens. And I can kind of slowly pan over them. There's some beautiful. I love this pink um, fossilized wood. You don't think of pink wood. from pink fossilized wood. wood, but. Petrified wood. Um, look at this. Like that's, they polished it on that so you can kind of see it. It may look brown on the camera because of course it doesn't come out pink, but it's a pretty kind of pinky color. Whoa. And then we have bison bones. Fossilized so, bison bone. There are some ammonite. Gem silica. I saw some of those in beads and they were super expensive. Malachite. Malachite. Oh, these ones. We have a whole tray of ammonite slices. Two dollars only. Now these are real. In case you're wondering, they're not manufactured. No, they're not drilled, most of them. There are a few in here that have a hole, but they're mostly not drilled. The whole ones may be gone already, too. Those would be great for epoxy clay or for wire wrapping. Or the Ceres. Those are some more fossils. Love those. 
Now, a lot of these come from Morocco. Like, those are from Morocco, those Ammonites. These Ammonites. These are from Gloucestershire. In England. Gloucestershire. And the Jurassic Coast. So, if you like Mary Anning, if you watch that movie about Mary Anning, uh, you may be in for a shock. I thought it was going to be a a movie about fossil hunting. And it was like Lady Lady Love. And I was like, whoa. I didn't know that this movie was going to be about this. Chunks of fossilized coral from West Virginia. Which I'm not sensitive. But if you are, then you might be learn some new things. Because I was all like, what? Now these pieces, these great big honking pieces of quartz. Now these are from Brazil. If these don't sell, I'm going to keep them all. No, I don't know why they're still. I know they are like these most like these rare specimens. It's twenty dollars each. Twenty dollars only. Like put a light under that and then just sell it for a thousand. <laughs> if we were in the city, we would be. So I know a lot more. Wendy asked, "What was the bone?" Bison. Bison, bison bone. bone. Mm -hmm. They're fossilized, so it's not like a chew toy. This is petrified wood. The edges are polished. So you can see the rings almost now. Yeah. It's pretty wild. But sometimes people like the petrified wood that looks like a tree still. Those still look like a tree. We got crocoite. Beautiful, the bright orange crystals. And it's kind of burnt orange. We may have to put some of those away. <laughs> he says, put them away. See Wendy sure. says, you have a wonderful selection of everything. Uh, we try. And this is, we're only not even halfway through the store. Um, so these are fossilized sea urchins. So if you know somebody who collects stuff, they may be interested. Like sometimes people, they don't really know what they're looking at. So it's not as special. But um, a lot of these things uh, come from all over the world, and they all have wonderful stories. These are quartz pendants. The other one was a petrified wood pendant. Like these pieces, they're called um, obsidian needles, and they're from Oregon. And in theory, they will ring. I don't want to do it because it might split it, but... Um, it sound good, though. I had a wind chime that was made of these. I don't know where it is. This is rubellite, tourmaline, and quartz. So basically pink quartz, or pink tourmaline in quartz matrix. So pretty cool. Now this is uh, galena, which is something you should wash your hands after <laughs> handling, William. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm, he thinks I'm joking, but... All right, well, here you go. Don't lick your fingers. Um, this is barite. And they look like potato chips to me. All right, so let's see. We've got chain. We've got all kinds of different chain. If you want to see closer things of chain, let us know. Um, we won't be able to do a separate video for the sale because the sale only goes till midnight. But if you're interested in that, we have so many different kinds of finishes of chain, and they're all different prices. Um, like this chain has um, uh, protective evil eyes in it. And they're all priced for the inch. Now these ones, they are um, wire wrapped crystals. So you don't have to wire wrap them yourselves in case you don't want to spend all the, of eternity wire wrapping. We also have some copper chain. We have uh, mixed bags. Now these chains are little pieces. So sometimes you only need a little bit of chain 
Um, and so those are sold by the pound and they're $18 for the pound. And I love this chain. It's a skull chain. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's made up of tiny little skulls all along this chain. And it's super charming. So if you need to make really quick earrings, just cut a little piece of this chain off and hang it on an ear wire and call it done. Um, and can make a really quick bracelet. And you don't have to use all of it. You could put this to be on the focal part of the chain and then use another one of these matte uh, gold chains on the other part. So that way you only have to use a little bit and you still get the maximum effect of it. So, um, Anissa, it's $18 for the, the uh, chain bags. Now we've got some different bezel set things. I used to, col or I still collect um, some antique and vintage cabochons and game pieces. And my friend Jess sets this for me. So those are made of old buttons. And um, there's a bunch of different cabochons in there. That pink one with a blue on it, it's called a dragon's breath. Um, here we've got some bees by Carl Klasmeyer. Um, here's some sterling silver clasps, also by Carl Klasmeyer. Um, we've got some eyes. I was at a show and had one of these on. And somebody's like, I love the eye. I love the eye. The rest of the necklace I don't really care about, but that <laughs> eye. Um, if you are into matching sets of ammonites, these are um, sets. They're these the are pairs. in the store, too. And those ones, they match. You know, you kind of have to go. They're so different. Each one is unique that you kind of have to go through and pick your favorite. All right, now this is some cup chain, um, some electroplated um, lava. Uh, lava, some buffalo teeth and coyote teeth. And then we've got a whole little section of Softlax flexible beading wire. We have all the different sizes, shapes, colors, and finishes. Um, so if you're in need of that, let us know. Um, and that was also on discount, which we never really do. Mm -hmm. um, we have these fragrance oils. These are not essential oils because um, some people were like, how come this is so cheap compared to what $4 are, a bottle. They're $4. And so he's like, when I buy doTERRA, it's like $40 a bottle. And those are pure essences as opposed to this, which is mixed with a carrier oil. And some of the chemical compounds are synthetic. However, if you burn or heat up some of the natural essential oils, you will get the nastiest migraine and it will smell like burnt dirt. And that's because not all essential oils smell pretty when they get heated. So these fragrance oils, they are designed to be heated with that carrier oil and to have a nice smell that actually smells like what it is. And the smell travels. It pervades the room instead of just kind of burning up in one area. And making a black spot on top of your <laughs> ceiling. Um, here's rings. I kind of don't want to show the rings too much because they're a pain in the butt to make. Um, the other part of that is that... Um, Depending on the size, uh, it's kind of impossible to go through. Mm -hmm. So if you like those, we could do a closer look if you want. But um, just let us know. Uh, we have one lonely, lonesome Petoskey stone pendant <laughs> left. Um, if you're from the Michigan area, you kind of know how, the, how special those are. If you like Larimar... Larimar is supposed to promote healing. Um, and I showed you that one earlier in the case. We have some other ones here. It's strongly connected to the water element. It's only found in the Dominican Republic. So it, there is a finite source of it. And it is genuine Larimar. I've seen a couple this things. Um, I, I've seen a couple things going, being sold as Larimar. And it's actually Amazonite. So just be careful out there. 
um, because if you don't have somebody who knows that the distinction, you could be buying something that's not actually Laramar. And there's also a new Laramar that's a synthetic where they take and uh, make it as a composite of the leftover dust with um, resin. So uh, that should be, if it's a reputable seller, they'll tell you it's a reconstituted Laramar. However, you're not going to get the same kind of patterns that you do when it's a natural stone, just so you know. All right, and here are some pendants that we have. These wire wrap pendants, I bought these from this old dude who's sitting outside of a bar in um, uh, Franklin, North Carolina. And I don't know what he was going to use the money for. I don't, you know, that's his business. I probably think he's probably going to drink some more, <laughs> but uh, don't hold me to that. He sold most all of them, too. Well, good. Yeah. Nice. So um, these ones are hand carved. Um, jet. jet is that jet or horn? That's horn, I think. Horn. Those are horn. Uh, they're hand carved from Indonesia. They're super realistic. Um, when the kids used to come into the store, they'd be like, "Oh my gosh!" And it's like they're fairy skulls, <laughs> and they would get a little bit horrified that I was <laughs> collecting fairy skulls. Correct. <laughs> now we have some African trade bees. Now these ones are all different kinds. There's hand painted ones. There's sand cast ones. Now these ones mostly the in that bowl there are from Ghana. So if you're looking for that, these ones are of uh, the Chevron kind of variety. They're vintage, but they're not uh, like old, old ones. Um, that's Javanese lampwork glass. They kind of remind me of donuts. <laughs> We've got some wood beads, some more African glass, some more wood. <sighs> Here we go. <laughs> Here are some of my pendants that I made. Great big ones. I thought that one sold already. I know. I thought somebody got that. You might have to check. I don't think so. Mm. Well, here you go. Here are some of Cynthia's paintings. She did a Cabinet of Curiosity show, and these were from it. I think, was it called Wonderkin? I don't remember. Now, this is Boulder Opal. It's got the goodie on one side. Um, somebody says, remember the African show, the African village? Of course. Now, this one is another one of my pendants. It's a big one. I made, a, they're big, but you can put them in a frame. So if you don't want to wear them or when you're not wearing them, you can just put them. Now, these are double pointed, um, uh, double, the, it's technically double terminated, which means double pointy. Um, graduated quartz. Graduated rock crystal quartz. Now we have, I'm gonna put this camera inside the. So we've got uh, sapphire rondelles. We've got aquamarine. We just sold the strand of rubies on the online store. So we do have one more here if you're looking for that, if you had that in mind. There is some tourmaline in there, some more ruby. Um, what's that, is it, is it phosphorite? Phosphor phosphorite, yeah. Uh, whatever that one is, it's a pink one. Emerald. So there's all kinds of goodies in there. There's rubies, emeralds. Um, here are some of our ethnographic beads. So there's a bunch. There's these uh, Javanese four face beads. These are at all in store. There are Buddha heads. These are those candle nuts that are carved by Lou Zeldis. He passed away, unfortunately, so... We only have two left here. That's the last of them. And these claws. The Horn of Plenty. Now, these are done with an inlay technique where they grind up the stones and mix it with a resin and then polish it smooth. 
So they're pretty cool. Now remember everyone, if you want anything from the store, please email us info at allegorygallery.com. I think Andrew has that up on the screen. Um, if you send us messages, we have a lot of problems with Facebook and Instagram messages getting lost or they use this business suite now and things get put, I don't know where. So the easiest way to reach us is by email. Yeah, so there's Milagros from Mexico. So if you have somebody to pray on, you can always pray, and there's usually a specific milagro that corresponds with that. So if you know somebody who, pick an easy one. Pick an easy one. That's just praying. Everybody's praying. There's a head. So if somebody got a headache, a lot of headaches, go pick the head one out. There's a head one. You can pray for them to not have headaches anymore. Or those that look like kidneys. If you, those are kidneys. Those kidneys. Because there is a long one in there. So they are correspond with different body parts. Um, that's a sacred heart. I guess if you want somebody to pray that somebody's more Catholic. Somebody's car has yeah. car problems. We need to put somebody's eyesight. Mm -hmm. Now those ones are, now that's for a pregnant. You mm -hmm. can see the fetus in there too. Um, so it's pretty cool. So they're having leg issues? Yeah. A little bit I, of everything. I use the legs and arms in my art doll pieces. Um, some bells. Now these are brass bells. These are in the online store too. You can grab those right away. Yeah, you don't even have to take a picture and screenshot them. Um, Suzanne says, I love my Milagros. Wendy says, your vast inventory is amazing. I think if I ever went in, I'd never leave. I live too far away in California. Well, luckily you can shop with us here online and you don't even have to come. And then it's not as overwhelming because then you can always push pause. <laughs> right. Um, so there's all kinds of stuff. Yes. Yeah, so if you're just tuning in or just recently tuned in, we're doing this store tour because we want to give you the chance to get these items that are in store only before our sale ends tonight at midnight. You can get 20% off of anything you're seeing in this video by taking a screenshot and sending us an email with that item. And we can invoice you and send it out and give you the discount. Now, these ones are carved amber from the Baltic. Me and Cynthia, we sat and agonized over this bin for hours, it felt like. <laughs> um, and there you go. We have the carved, there's tons of different ethnographic. These are the polymer clay that are based off of the African phonograph record. Those these. are in the online store. Here's some crystals, S word crystals. That S word we're not allowed to say anymore. Yeah, don't say it because I don't want the video taken I down. I know. These are five millimeter bicones in there. Um, there's some more there's specimens. Here, four millimeter. Some Peruvian ceramic down here. Those are great for kids, especially because they're inexpensive. They're $1.25 to $1.50. This is all we have left. Yeah. Unfortunately, the factory closed and uh, the uh, warehouse is kind of uh, dried up, locked up. So that's, I can't get any more of these. So I'm sad if, about that. You know, oh wow. Times is tough with the pandemic, y'all. Somebody tried to tell me that no business is closed during the pandemic. And I was like, um. <laughs> I know several. Where you go? Um, so there is some vintage plastic, vintage seed beads. If you want to see anything more closely, let us know. Yeah, if you get your um, request in by email before midnight, we can still extend the sale to you if we have to come in tomorrow and look at things. Which so there are these earrings. These are hand beaded earrings. And those are pretty cool. Some of my necklaces. Some of these are so old, just take them apart. Um, these are the loose stones, uh, stone beads. Some of them are a little bit um, harder to see, but like these ones, these are sea urchin spines, these little purple ones. 
These are $22 for this little strand, but you could make a pair of earrings. And this is a natural color too. So they haven't been dyed or augmented. Um, and I think those are so cool. Um, These are the cubic zirconia that I talked about, I think the other day that are really pretty. Now we have the, the vintage Czech glass briolets that we looked at. And when we did, I talked about these. So these are in the online store, I believe as well, but you can see they're really super. Somebody cool. asked if a message to the store, is that okay? No, send it to the email address, info at allegorygallery.com. We get so many people saying they sent us a message and we never ever get it. So it disappears. It. Yeah, we don't want to miss it. And then nobody gets our order and then people are upset. Um, Anne wanted to see the um, um, the colorful balls next to the this one. These ones. Those are Peruvian too. Large. And now these are also Peruvian. They're all ceramic. They are five dollars a strand. Those I don't think ever went into the online store. So those are only in store. No, that's all that's left too. That's all there will ever be. And these are cupcakes in case you miss <laughs> this, this bowl. All different kinds of cupcakes. You have to pick your poison. And the holes on these go through side to side. Side to side. And that's 150 for those. Dollar fifty. In the brown bowl. This. Okay, there you are. These ones are specimens down here. Chrysocolla specimen. There's citrine specimens. Orange calcite. Those look so crusty. Just ignore those. <laughs> and the vanadide on the night. Vanadinite. Say it faster, William. Vanadinite. He, it sounds Banana like he's night. like casting a, a night. Boom. money pour down. <laughs> right. We've got some candles. These ones have gemstones crushed up and stuck in them. Burn those crystals. I, I love these. Look at these little hand carved moonstones. Oh, I love those too. These always do well when we show them. The what are show. they? What are this? I thought they were stars. Hmm? What are on them? On them, there's a star. Star and, Star and moon. moon. Yep. See, I remember I picked them out. Star and moon. Moonstone. Those are all hand carved, y'all. <laughs> Terry says muffins. I don't know any muffins that are colored like that. More like cupcakes. Cupcakes. Hand carved citrine. Those are fun. These are beautiful. I like those a lot. No, those are done, and it's like a spiraling. There you go. Some of those eyes, lamp or glass eyes, in case you need to keep some bad juju away. Right. All right. So these ones are some of the bezel set uh, um, Roman glass. There is some ancient. These were excavated in uh, Ghana. And they're quartz beads, so they're ancient beads. Um, and they were set in Nepal. And a lot of these are in the online store. You can check there first. Terry says that she can call them muffins. They sound healthier. <laughs> uh, you can, if you get a, a Terry, muffin. you can call it whatever you want. You can call it peanut butter and jelly, <laughs> however you want to do it. Um, we've got some cabochon. Um, I don't know how much time I'm going to spend sharing the cabochons because it is something that is, uh, you kind of have to pick those, you know, I, I kind of feel like, and I have done live videos on these. I remember. Um, so it's a little bit more challenging, but I, we, we got all these different ones. That's a piece of Amber. There's blue Awahi opal. There's, um, some fun. 
it's chrysoprase. Chrysoprase. It's like a light, almost lemony color. Appetite. Appetite. This is appetite too, right? Yeah. We got Beautiful. a whole bunch. Um, so I'm like, we're not going to spend much time. And then so then we dig deeper. <laughs> um, some, there's some glass pearls. Those are really fun. They're inexpensive. Great filler beads. Some wood beads that have been painted. We have freshwater pearls in all different kinds of shapes, sizes, and colors. These are all old stock. Um, so these vintage pearls, the luster is really good. Um, you know, some of them are a little bit wonka doodle, like these he she ones, these kind of cornflake pearls. Um, if you don't know about them, then you may get surprised. But um, aren't they pretty though? Somebody was like, oh, they're rough. And I was like, well, if you start off with a rough material, then they will be rough. I love them though. Um, I think they're cool. I love these peanut ones. The peanut peanut one. pearl. All right. Um, Anissa says any chip strands. Um, Chips yeah. We're like over here. We have nice. all different kinds. Uh, nice. Let us know. We can pump them down. And if you were so watching like at the beginning, we went over all the gemstone bins, and there were some chips inside there. Yeah, so it's like snow quartz, tiger's eye, jasper, blue, blue lace agate. Um, there's lots of turquoise chip. There's coral chip. So turquoise, coral. Um, there's more chips on the other end too and more to come uh, so we've got some vintage glass beads here um, and those in the back they're vintage Japanese the ones in the very back those yellow ones are um, Western, Western German graduated so you can tell they're super -de duper vintage Japanese here, I believe. The uh, Japanese, they still have their original tags on their paper tags. I don't know how those haven't disintegrated instantly. Um, we have some wood and resin and plastic. So do we have those unicorns still or no? I think the unicorns got bought. Mm -hmm. well, the, the Buddhas are all different fun festive colors. The big Buddha. The Hosen. These are just fun. Those are, some of those are the acrylic or the resin. My friend uh, Judy used to travel to Indonesia and got those set up, that factory set up. Um, she, and she said that when she would get the shipments in, she would wait at the docks in the morning um, and go in with a U-Haul van and they would have i don't know why but she had to pack them all up in that u-haul van in the very early mornings i think because her shipments it was like it was sent by water so it would keep the price down as opposed to shipping them by air and so she made some kind of agreement where she had to go and, and load them up at that behind crack of dawn so we have some seed beads up here. They're not all out. So there's size six seed beads. These are really great for spacers and things like that. If you, um, anything like that, if you need. Um, now here, we're gonna kind of go through fairly quickly. These are the artisan beads. There's the pieces that I made. There's polymer ones, and then there's ceramic ones. Those are all done with molds that I carved myself in reverse and pressed one at a time and hand painted or hand glazed. Um, there's pieces by Keith O'Connor. There's some more pieces by me. There's unicorn beads, which are lampwork glass beads. There's some um, all kinds. Mystic Moon, she lives in Massachusetts. More unicorn beads, some more unicorn beads. This is uh, the Keisha Koi glass. Um, these ones are by Bokomo Designs. That's Bobby Rhodes and his family, if you didn't know that. Uh, more Mystic Moon. 
we really haven't been to too many artisan shows so um some of the stuff's getting picked over but whatever we also have full strands of different uh beads those are mostly from two sister beads um they both were teachers and then uh fell into the love of the lamp work glass and started making beads uh, we used to see them at the trade show circuit, the uh, circuit shows for beads. So um, it was pretty fun to see them almost every weekend. Now these ceramic pieces, they're Raku pieces. Those are by our friend Harry Wood. Um, um, Anise asked for silver, silk. Uh, I don't think we have any silver silk here. We don't. Um, we might have some at home, but um, none here. Sorry. Um, there are some pieces by Melanie Brooks of Earthenwood Studio. There are some uh, Yayin beads. Those are ones that Ava Motherwell produces in Germany. There's some polymer clay by Heather Powers of Humble Beads. Some more from Heather Powers of Humble Beads. Some more Keisha Koi glass, some more Humble Bees, polymer clay. These ones in the back are Maku Raku. If you met her, that's Marian Kasparian, who is in Arizona and is known for her Raku components. Um, we have some uh, <coughs> lamp or glass uh, leaf head pins. These are by Rita Schneck. Um, She's friends with Candy Cooper. I met her during a Candy Cooper retreat, and I bought all of her uh, leaves. Um, I had to wrestle candy for them. <laughs> That's before Corona, so you could do that. She, I think she got jealous of my shoes because they were gold. <laughs> And she, she kept calling me Flash. I said, you keep calling me Flash like you want them. And she would shake her head yes. But maybe she's just joking. Anyway, so we have some pieces. Those ones, those are by Danish Wisher. Um, I have not heard from her in years. She, uh, I emailed her and she was supposed to send us a pick box. But I think she moved. And she was always hard to pin down. Um, she was kind of a little bit hermit style. And so I had to look her up and I used the phone book and uh, kind of backtraced her location and found her that way. Now these are Lily Pilly. So if you got the Love is Love kit, you got some of their laser engraved shell components. These are the great big pieces this is a Colorado-based company. Um, Heidi owns it. Is it Heidi? Heidi? I don't know. It used to be Heidi and Diane, but I don't think it's it's Heidi. And so, and Jody, but Jody's not there anymore. And these are uh, laser and gray pieces, all from Lily Pilly. We have a bunch of them. They're super nice people. So we bought a bunch of them. All different. All different uh, sizes, shapes. Um, those are really good if you have a piece and you need to frame it. So like these pieces are like Invicti. This pewter piece is Invicti. Invicity. Um, and if you have a piece you can kind of layer them up if you need a bigger visual bulk. So you can kind of do that where you have one kind of in front of the other, and that will make this look bigger if you need it to be bigger. So it's almost like a visual frame. Um, I like the Lily Pilly because they're super lightweight. So like as Su Suzanne said, they make good earrings. Mm -hmm. And now we have some decoupage bees. Those are from my pr friend Priscilla. She makes those in the Philippines and has her family help her. Now, these ones are from our friend Gina Chalfont of White Swan Illuminations, a.k.a. White Swan Studio. Um, she's a Pittsburgh-based artist. She's super nice. She's facing some kind of cancer, so she's going through all that, which is terrible because she's one of the nicest people on the planet. I was like, how come the 
the douchey people don't get <laughs> that big cancer and like the nice people always the nice people it seems like have the problems anyways we've got stretch cord um some silk now these are the s word crystals there's a whole kind of spinner rack section of the different drops so if you've got hearts teardrops and those ones have a patina on them which are really cool we have the scarabs still left i can't believe there are scarabs left yeah because we sold a bunch of those in a, a sale and i thought we sold all of them but apparently not i think i might have ordered more this word scarabs so these ones um we also have sequins now these sequins those are like mermaid scale sequins those are in the online store um we have some bezels we don't have very many bezels left because i stole them all <laughs> um we have some vintage patina paints just now, depending on where you are, we can't ship this everywhere, just so you know. Paintbrushes. Um, there's paintbrushes. Those ice resin template, that's super useful if you're going to use any of the bezels, because then you can just trace it, and then you can it fits inside of them. We don't really have... I don't have any to show. They're the show ones you. at the house. <laughs> yeah, you took those ones. I can bring them back because I'm done. Uh, there's some vintage plastic. This is like from the 90s. Yeah, so these ones are okay. They're not like old school, old school. Now, I'm not going to spend too much time on the paint because it's, an, it's a headache for us to order the, or ship the paint. Yeah. However, if you um, order from Junk Monkey directly, you can order this paint. Now, their paint sticks to nearly everything. The only thing they said that it probably doesn't stick to is like silicone. So you can paint wood, metal, all kinds of stuff. And I use it for jewelry components, not just um, furniture paint. Um, and so they started calling it project paint because you can do so much with it. Um, we really are starting to run low. They started another store and they are a couple hours away. So we haven't seen them for a while, but uh, for a restock. So we have some colors in available, but um, not a lot. All right. So here we have Metal Palooza. <laughs> there's head pins, there's lobster claws, and every single finish, color, and size. There's rubber, um, eyeglass, there's bales with a large hole, we've got buttons, we've got toggles. Some of it's online already, so just keep that in mind. My voice is starting to go, so uh, we'll see how this left. These are the laser engraved pendants that we have, that we produce. Some of those are online. Um, Wendy asked how much the scarabs are. Scarabs. They're a couple different prices depending on the finishes, but the scarabs are around $6 each. Around $6. Here, move out of the way. If you need to take a screenshot. Now, this one is a green. They're mixed up, so there's all different ones. Yeah, so there's some green, purple, amber. There's a crystal AB one. So generally about $6. All right, so here's more pewter stuff. People are like, how come you don't have the pure stuff that you, that you bought? And it's all at the cottage. Mm -hmm. We need to knock down another wall and take over. <laughs> so, sorry. And then here we have some Anique Monique. We have some dyed jade rounds in fun festive colors. Those are in the online store. There's antique clay beads that are ceramic. There's some African uh, 
recycled glass beads. I don't know how we still have those. Usually we sell out of our African glass like instantaneously like that. We have some long strands of mixed strands of African glass. There's some vintage beads. Um, there's Monique Monique. There's more African glass. This is uh, Indonesian glass, but they make it to look like African trade beads. So, so you, you can tell uh, the size and style from them. This, this is all African glass. This is all stuff that I picked up at um, the African village in Tucson. So we went through and me and Cynthia handpicked all of these different kinds. Um, it, we were there for a long time. Um, we basically set up and became best friends with that dude. This is all um, Roman era Silk Road glass. So this is all that from the bottle dumps that they have repurposed and drilled and turned into jewelry components. Some of them have a really lovely iridescence to them. And the iridescence is created from being buried in the ground in centuries of time. So it's pretty cool. It's like owning a piece of history if you um, are interested in that. I think this is really cool. Um, it's really wild to think that like this is contemporary with Jesus, um, that we have things available in our store that, you know, are part of living history. Um, we have a whole bin full of uh, vintage classics. Now, this is the 50s through the 80s. This is $4 a strand. And we have a whole big bin of this. This was all strung up by us in-house, one beat at a time. Cleaned, strung up, priced. Yeah. So it's, now, some of this is in the online store as well under the vintage plastic collection. So it's pretty cool. Um, Wendy asked, how much are the Roman glass strands? $40 a strand. Uh, they're $40. They're available in the online store as well, I believe. Um, William said, if you didn't hear, they're available in the online store. Anissa says, the dyed jade, how much, and are the rondelles of African glass? Dyed so, jade, three different prices, well, three different sizes, but all the same price. So, Are these in the online store? They are all in the online store for the dyed jade. All the colors are in there. They're $7 a strand. You can get those right online. Use weekend sale coupon code to save 20% off those. That we, then the then, rondelles. Which ones? If you're meaning these yes. ones, these are Indonesian glass, and they these are, are 20, based off of African glass. And they're twenty dollars a strand. They're, they're the long strands. They're the double strands. Sometimes you'll see this, and it's only one. It's only one, uh, and then it's like twelve fifty. But since they're double, we sell them for twenty. So you get you a little bit. these down here. These are various prices, but around fifteen dollars each. Yeah, fifteen ish. Some of them are like eight. Like the seed beads, the opalescent glass seed beads are like uh, eight dollars. So the small ones are. are... These are the larger. Um, Facebook user asked how much the Laramar is. All different prices. The Laramar for the smallest is ninety dollars. The medium is one twenty-five. So you're looking at ninety dollars for the small. Let let hold on. Leave it on there. Okay. So this is ninety. One twenty-five. Now, of course, keep in mind this is twenty percent off if you buy it before midnight. And this is two twenty-five. It's all done by weight. So the bigger the stones, the more expensive it is. So if you need to, you can take a screenshot of that and circle the one. And then you the want. one in the case that we showed at the beginning is also two twenty-five. It's a big end. Yeah. All right. Wendy says, "Can you show the African glass on the top right?" That's Indonesian. Now this is Monique Monique. So this is Indonesian glass. And those are 12, 10 to twelve dollars. I think those are all twelve there. So twelve dollars. And this is Indonesian Monique Monique. 
which has a fascinating history and was actually at one point used for trade currencies amongst the islands. So that's pretty cool. These were the African you were talking about up here. Now those ones are, these ones are $9. I think they're all nine. Those. So those ones, the way that they make the holes on them, so they have these clay molds that they make, and for the holes, they use the stem of a cassava plant. And when the uh, when the glass heats up, they powder it up into what's called frit, and they pack the mold around a cassava stem. And when they heat the molds up, the glass fuses together, and that's why it's got that kind of matte, kind of rustic finish. And then the cassava plant stem burns out and leaves an organic kind of hole. So all of the holes are all different, but they're of an ample size. Now this kind, this mixed strand, they're $42. And this is well worth it because there's all different kinds from all over Africa. There's Ghana glass, there's um, sand cast from Morocco, all kinds of goodies. There's um, that this one is an Awahi, Awali chevron. Um, and some of those are very, very old. Um, so all different kinds of goodies. Wendy says, love those and love those. Oh, good. <laughs> if you are interested in any of the items you're seeing tonight, um, just email us at info at allegorygallery.com. Be sure to claim this before midnight Eastern time. Is that Eastern? Two hours. Boy, I've been talking for like two hours straight. <laughs> um, and we are still not done. So in this case, we have a lot of different carved pieces. These are the part of that collection that we acquired. So there was a woman, I think she was in Indiana maybe. And she would travel to all the gem shows. Maybe it was Illinois. I can't remember. Anyways, so she would travel all over the country for over 25 years and has a collection of these carved bone and Indonesian uh, pieces. So these ones are all pendants. Uh, the one in the back, that's opal. I believe that's Lightning Ridge Opal. And some of them are carved with fetishes like that. That um, The one in the back, that's a Zuni fetish where it shows you the direction of where the food goes. <laughs> in through the mouth, out through the back. Um, and we've got dolphins. Those are carved as an elk bone. These ones are walrus tusks. Walrus tusks. Walrus jawbone. And there's piggy. They even go through which part of the, the piece it is. Now, I should also mention that a lot of the, the pieces that are native carb, um, they are pieces that have been collected by tribes in those areas. And so basically, it's like a bottle dump, but for bones from one after. And people will collect those and carve them. And there's a very tight market on this because only native peoples are allowed to collect those. Uh, the Zuni bear is not in glass. The Zuni bear is in, it's a mixed Water stone. buffalo horn. That's water buffalo horn and there's an inlay. And how much is that? That is $32. It's $32. And there, is there a hole in this one? Or is this, this a, one of the sculpture pieces? This is a sculpture piece. Now, this is a sculptural piece. However, water buffalo is a very soft material. So if you wanted Super to turn hard. that into a pendant, you could drill it out fairly easily. So on the second shelf, there's, um, well, he's going to show that. But... There's um, some more Maku Raku. Those are one of her bigger pieces where she's embedded found objects like nails into the heart. Um, those ones are, was it 40? 40. Mm -hmm. um, there's some Kelly Russell pieces. That's fine silver. And then there's polymer clay on the back. Um, and those are 70, which is basically free considering how much silver there is. <laughs> 
And there's rings by me. There's rings from our friend Kia. This is a stone called amylite. Now, amylite is related to ammonite. Um, they're only found in one place in Canada. I believe it's Alberta, Canada. And they usually have to do what's called a doublet. And a doublet is so that it strengthens very fragile stone. So there's a thin layer of that iridescence, which comes in those multicolored rainbows. And it's kind of an opalized, um, at like a, a shell type. Um, and then on top, it's a doublet. So they put um, a faceted quartz crystal and uh, marry them together. And that's how they can curve it. Um, I like those. If you're into the pride stuff, um, you sold there a lot you go. of these. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. I made a bunch. So uh, I'm not going to talk about these <laughs> or that. But if you if you need some if you're friends with somebody who needs that for fertility help, um, there you go. Um, there's these crawling frogs. These are carved bone. Um, some more kind of portraits with um, very um, Native American uh, themes. Um, this is a carved um, sea turtle. Now, um, there are some monkeys getting up to no good, eating some fruit. <laughs> I hope that's a piece of fruit. Um, there's some um, monkey families. There's a Hosen Buddha. Um, some little foxes. All kinds of goodies. Now, there are bigger pieces. And the bigger pieces are... I don't know... Here are the bigger pieces. Now these ones are not beads. These are more sculptures um, and they are super collectible. Look at that little cat with a bull. And there's this cat, that kitten is bothering it. it. Says, come here and play with me. And then the cat says, no. Here's a dog with a belt. I think that's pretty charming. There are some elephants. There's a woolly mammoth. There's a little bird hatching from an egg. And the egg is actually carved. So I don't know how they did that. Show it in the inside. It's all hollowed out. That's pretty wild. So there's all these. If you're interested in these, just let us know, um, and we can kind of zero in. That's a woolly mammoth. There's some penguins in there. There's a dead pirate skeleton. Some of these have bases, and they lock together like that. There's some kitten friends. Um, just how much are these, just out of curiosity? 220 for that one. 220 for the big one. And those are really great prices. Yeah. We bought out the whole entire collection um, because we couldn't see it. We, we, uh, the person who we acquired them for, uh, we bar, we were lent them to sell. And um, when it was time to send them back, we just could not do it. So we bought the whole collection of them and we're still paying them off. And uh, hopefully you all buy them so that we we can uh, pay well, we wanted back. Wanted to our... make sure they went to the right hands. And we wanted to make sure they found the right homes. Yeah, they and not just got stored in a warehouse somewhere to molder away. Yeah, because a lot of times that's what happens. Is sometimes things that are really precious and unique, sometimes they just disappear and nobody and sees somebody them. Somebody can't sell and... them fast. It gets stuff to side and you know sometimes people they'll clear stuff out and pitch in the landfill and, and it i would break my heart to see any of those destroyed so while it was a big purchase for us we had to do it um Teresa said how much for the rings so it just depends yeah um we can do, you can send us an email, let us know your size and yeah. I can tell you what rings we have available. That's the easiest thing. Um, like this one is a size 13 and it's a hundred dollars. 
So yeah. we have all different sizes. Um, let us know your size and I can show you what we have available in store. Um, Anissa says, loving all the product. Thank you. And Suzanne says, this collection is great. I love the pieces I Suzanne have. Suzanne often buys from this little by little. A lot of them are with me. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Now that was the one cross I did. I think Suzanne messaged me about the cross. This is the only cross that we have left of that of in this collection. Now, how we, much is it? Um, this cross is twenty four dollars. We do have like this too. It's not a cross. It's not a cross, but it's that shape depending on what you're looking for. That's, that's a thirty. Oh, I can't remember what it's called, but it's like a four sided knife, and they use it to open astral doors. So those and are the only, that's the only cross we have left. So there's a lot of incense. I don't know if y'all are interested in that. I if know. If you're looking for incense, ask us what you're looking for and we can let you know. Sure. That's easy. My throat is giving yeah. out. So. we got to feed the cats. Here's some wire. <laughs> some we got a wires, rainbow wire. Artistic wire. Jump rings. Jump rings galore. People are going to puke if I show this. Oh, well. And then tools. tools, lots and lots of tools. We're in the process of removing this wall and expanding our classroom. So this room is clean, but it's also in a state of transition because we're opening this space up so there's more room for, for tables. So on this wall, um there's some artwork from uh is it james brown brown or browning james brown yep. james brown uh william did a video on these they're prints of his artwork they're really cute so i did do a video you can see the video if you want to see all of them or let us know if you have something in mind um, and this is an embed, which is a thick. You were talking about that the other day. This is a thick silk, so it's a column silk, and there's a core, and you can do this technique called a wandering needle necklace, where you basically stitch on seed beads. So it's pretty cool. Uh, clearly, this packaging you can tell is vintage. <laughs> so I think we're probably one of the only places that you can. Uh, acquire this and once we're sold out we're going to be there's no more so we also have fiber cards now the fiber cards are lots of a mix of different fibers and colors that's a great kind of sampler in case you don't need a whole skein of yarn in this weird like eyelash, eyelash yarn you know if you don't need a whole strand this kind of is a way to get a little bit where you can get some to add texture um, to your pieces and give it a little bit of a bohemian kind of flair to them. Um, I think with bohemian um, uh, jewelry, it's great to have that kind of elements of texture and different textures and also colors. So we have all these different ones and there's more. So if you're looking for a particular colorway, just email us. Some of those are on the online store as well. Um, here are some postcards. Those are from a Russian artist. Um, I know people, when they hear the word Russia, they start thinking of the war. But this is all bought before the war. And, um, you know, not everybody's involved with the war, obviously. Um, here are some of my prints and greeting cards. Some of them have been hand embellished. There's these um, skull dollies. I don't know how those are left. Are those originals? Mm -hmm. I don't know how those are left. I s thought I sold them all. I thought I sold all of these phoenixes too, but apparently I have we two left. These are original paintings, sixty-five dollars. So. Um, yeah, um, some more prints of my artwork. There's some Hannah Willow cards, Willow cards, more prints of my stuff, and then paper dolls from Cynthia at Green Girl Studios. 
and then there's carvings, silk, there's Cynthia's book, enchanted adornments. There's Cynthia's DVD on custom cast bangles and cuffs. Um, we kind of got rid of all of our books here and sold those. There's some more of my paintings. And what else? That's it. Halloween Town. This <laughs> is all that's left of Halloween Town. Some of those um, pieces are from uh, um, uh, Joanna Parker. And there's some pieces by Joe uh, Spencer. Spencer. I think that one in the corner is the only one left of the Joanna Parker pieces. And I think the head comes off just in case. Does the head come off on that one? Yep. Yeah. It's a little little vessel. Cute little container. It's in resin. And if you need to store stuff and hide things, you can. It's $43.50. 4350 it's not a cheap date, but those are collectible now, so there you go. I don't break it. I'm gonna... <laughs> All right. All right. That's it. Thank you for watching. If you want any of these items, the reason we did this is because at midnight, our 20% off sale ends. So if you saw anything in this video you like, get us an email before midnight tonight. We won't be able to answer you. We're not going to answer you until tomorrow, but we're going to check that timestamp. It has to be before midnight tonight. That's in about an hour and a half. So send us any of the screenshots from anything you want in the store. You get 20% off and we'll invoice and ship out to you. You know, um, there's more in the store that I didn't go yeah, through. We jumped over. And um, we kind of breeze through some sections. But it's a good, uh, it's a good quick look. Yeah. Quick look. My Two throat hours. tomorrow is going to be like, I can feel it. Yeah. It's been, it's like I r like rubbed it raw. So thank you. We're going to go. We're going to go eat some dinner. What are we going to eat? I don't know. We're going to feed our cats. And we're going to check I'm, for I'm concerned emails. about this food situation. We're going to check and feed our cats. So thank you all so very much. Have a wonderful night. Bye, everybody. I'm still wondering about what I'm going to eat. He didn't answer me. Staying online is not going to help you find food. See what's happening to me. <laughs> it's like I'm being starved. Go buy some beads so I don't have the hunger games. Uh, it, I know who's going to win. All right. Bye. And also, let us know if you like this, because um, he's going to start turning off the lights <laughs> on you all. I was going to hang out with you just a little bit more. I feel like I talk really loud and, um, and really fast. Usually, I'm much more melodic in my talk talk. Don't need all of them. We're... Save me one of the white ones. All right, bye. <laughs>